Hello everyone, welcome to Social World. Today I will react to a compilation of Irene being a mom in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Had to check the song. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, I've seen this clip before. I mean, it makes sense. She is the oldest. I mean, the thing is, I do think Irene feels a bit extra uh, responsible for Yeri and the others because she's, especially Yeri, because Yeri is uh, a lot younger than the others. So I think he kind of comes natural to her. To <clears throat> Since she is, uh, unlike uh, for example Girls Generation, where pretty much everyone is almost the same age, here there's uh, uh, age gap. Uh, Irene is born 91 and Jerry is born in 99, so 8 years between them, so it makes sense that she would uh, be extra. Feel extra responsible, and others uh, not such age gap, but there's a few. I think three and four years. I think I, I don't think I can't remember. I don't think anyone is born in '93. Because Wendy and Sulgi is born in born 94 and Joy is the second youngest. So yeah. So three to four years I think. So, that's why I think she feels a bit extra responsible. Because she doesn't have uh, because none of the other members are close, or like maybe just a few months younger, or or uh, much closer to her in age. <laughs> and that's why, uh, for example, Espa. I think we'll be uh, won't have uh, that same thing because they're so close in age. They can e more easily talk to each other. In a way. I 
and that's why I sometimes feel like is Taeyeon really Hells Angels official leader or to be honest I think yes he is the leader but I think uh, because of how both their personalities but also their age uh, makes it that It's much easier for Theon, for example, to have someone to talk to in the group because they're all so close in age. It makes such a difference. And that's also why I think uh, one of the reasons why Ghost Nation have been going for 13 years. Certain clips I've seen before. Irene Chan. That's the thing. And that can be quite a lot to handle. So I, so I hope uh, Irene has uh, seniors that she feels that she can uh, turn to for help. Uh, I mean that you can talk to <laughs> she, won't, 
she can have the stern mother. She is very young. Some of the clips were. Uh, oh, they uploaded this uh, this year. Okay, sorry. I thought maybe they uploaded it in 2018. Sometimes uh, they do stuff like that. Yeah, very nice. Like I said, I've seen uh, certain clips from this compilation before, uh, so I knew certain things already. So I know about the motherly side of Irene already. Uh, well, this was a lot of fun to watch. Well, I mean, fun, uh, maybe <laughs> I wasn't laughing out loud, but some things was fun. Most of it were more... Uh, this is how... Uh, uh, how it should be. Sub uh, groups should support each other, but most of all, fans. I wish fans were like this as well. Uh, there are uh, lots of fans that support the groups. Won't deny. Won't. I won't deny that. But there is also quite a lot of. Unnecessary uh, fan wars and hate uh, that it just gets tiring, uh, to be honest. So, people saying assassins are the only ones uh, creating trouble. Nope. The, yes, they create the biggest and uh, most controversial stuff. Uh, that's newsworthy, but there's so much uh, crap going on on Twitter and YouTube and others and other social media <clears throat> from fans as well. And the funny thing is, I know people love to give uh, to give a uh, keynets a lot of uh, uh, hate, but I've seen quite a lot of uh, international fans also. Uh, uh, doing a lot of crap, so it's not just the uh, Korean fans, far from it. So, sadly, that's uh, something that's uh, not going to go away. That's how humanity is, sadly. Not everyone, far from it, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit the like button, comment below, and please subscribe if you haven't. Have a nice evening. See you tomorrow.